As she exits what probably seems like the worst of times, Kathleen Sebelius will soon realize that was child's play compared to the abyss she is about to enter. Kathleen, you are about to face endless lawsuits and investigations because of your attempt to compromise religious liberty and force the contraception mandate into a law that never included it. As you go back to Kansas, you need to ask yourself, was it worth it? And with me now, the author of Beating Obamacare 2014, Betsy McCoy. All right, so uh, what does her departure mean for Obamacare? Well, it's good riddance because <laughs> Kathleen Sebelius is probably the most corrupt member of this very corrupt administration. She lied to the public again and again about their doctors and their health plans. She lied to Congress, and that's a crime. She lied to Congress that's repeatedly. That's a crime which in this administration She's like really the matter. lowest learner yeah. of health care. Yeah. She lied to Congress repeatedly, including the way in the committee, right? She tried to shake down private health care companies for contributions, right? So explain that to me. I've heard oh, yes. that a lot. Yes, because there, there was an entity, a 501c3, called Enroll America, right. staffed by former White Housers and, and uh, campaign people from Obama, that was to play a major role in encouraging enrollment in Obamacare. And she literally called health care companies that she oversees to get them to donate to this 501c3. But worst of all, she shredded our Constitution, constantly changing what this law said to accommodate the president's political preferences. You know, the White House says that she resigned on her own in early uh, uh, March. Should she have resigned a long time ago? Should she have been fired? I mean, I think the answer of is pretty Of course she easy. should have been fired. And everyone talks about her incompetence, which was obvious. Uh, with but the wasn't she a governor in Kansas, Betsy? Yes, she was. So, I mean, how, how was she Are you that impressed up? with politicians, Judge? Uh, no, no, but here's the, here's the thing. Right. Was she covering up? because she, you know, that was the agreement? I mean, did she understand or not understand that she would ultimately be thrown under the bus? I don't know what she understood, but she did a terrible job, and it's obvious to everyone that she had no management skills in this job. But in addition, what's really important here is how she became part of the White House lie machine. Yeah. And she was used again and again to deceive the American public about what this law says and what it will mean. But the fact is, even with her gone, this is not civilian care. It is Obamacare. It's, so it's and the most law. of the problems are baked into this law, made worse by the president's deceptive hard sell. So you're going to see a lot of problems roll out in the coming months. Premiums spiking, according to the CEO of Aetna, the CEO of Care First, and other major insurance companies, cancer patients desperate yeah. because most of these plans don't allow them to go to specialty cancer hospitals. Well, not only that, that but they lost their insurance. I mean, we've had That's these right. people on. But will, will the resignation, do you think it'll save the Democrats who are up for election in November? Of course not, because in the coming months, 25 to 30 million people are going to lose their on-the-job coverage. The cancer patients are going to wonder how they're going to survive without specialty cancer care. And about a million people who have signed up for this are going to stop paying premiums when they discover a $5,000 deductible means they still have to pay full freight right. when so they go that, to the now doctor. Now there's even less money in the, in the bank. Right. But now Obama nominates Sylvia Burwell to replace her. Is she a kind of woman who can she handle this? She has very impressive credentials, but let's face it, she is a White House insider. She's going to be part of this lie machine. Generally, the Secretary of Health and Human Services is someone of independent stature, recruited because of his or her knowledge and ability. That is not Burwell. All right, uh, Betsy McCoy, always good to hear your take on this. Thanks Thank for you. being with us this evening.